everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So, I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video on this last, and I've done quite a lot in this game since the last episode. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but for right now I'll go over some of the stuff that has changed since the last episode. So, as you can see, I'm on stage 13 now. Uh, I believe I was on like stage, I don't even know, like 6 or 7 in the last episode. So I've leveled up quite a bit there. Um, as you can also see, I'm using Taya Gardener right now. Uh, I've unlocked her, um, then I'm on level 18. Uh, let's go over to um, Joey. Joey was who I was using in the last episode. Uh, he's on level 20 right now. Um, and uh, I've also unlocked my Valentine, and uh, oh yeah, I already had Seto Kaiba. And then I also have the potential to unlock all of these characters. So <laughs> those are going to be some of the missions that we're going to do in future episodes, probably. Um, and then I've also unlocked. I didn't even know this was a thing in this game. Oh wait, I don't want to be my. I haven't. I haven't done anything with her yet. Um, I. I've also unlocked, let's see, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, what's the second one? Whatever the second one, the DSOD series, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, and Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. Um, I haven't done anything in those series yet, um, so I'll be, I don't know, showing those off in future episodes. Um, so. Uh, basically, I'll show you guys what uh, deck I'm currently working on with Taya Gardener. My Elemental Hero one that I was doing with Joey, I think it's at a pretty decent spot right now. Um, I'd say it's like a little, maybe a little bit below average, maybe average. I don't know, I can win sometimes with it, but other times it's like impossible for me to win. Um, so, uh, with Taya, uh, hold on, let me... I keep clicking on the icon thinking it will take me to the deck editor, but it will not. Um, so with Taya, I am currently, uh, if it will load, I will show you what cards I am working with. Alright, so, um, excuse me, uh, basically my goal for this Taya Gardener deck is to be a witchcrafter deck. Um, so that's the new new um, card box or deck that has come out is like the witch witch spells I forget what it's called um, but yeah that's my goal for right now I only have a couple witchcrafter cards um, and then I kind of just had it auto build the rest of it so I'm working with quite a few of these speedroids um, so they're pretty good too and then also where are they uh, altergeists. Uh, so those ones are pretty good as well. Uh, so, but yeah, my main goal is for it to be a witchcrafter deck. Um, but I got quite a while to go before I can start getting all the cards that I need for that. Um, I have quite a few spell cards that are witchcrafters, but I basically, I just, to get what I want to do, I just need to get more copies of this one, witchcrafter Madame Vere. Uh, I realize now that my face is covering up the pictures of the cards, so that's unfortunate. Um, and then need a few more copies of these witch crafter Pittore and Schmieta. Uh, and then it should be pretty good. Right now it's at a decent spot. Um, it's not great, but I can win here and there if I get the right cards uh, drawn. And uh, yeah. Um, as you can also tell, I'm down a lot of gems. I think in the last episode I had like 3,000 something. Yeah, I kind of just blew them all on the new Witchcrafter deck, because I was like, man, if I can get ahead on this, on this, uh, new thing, I gotta, I gotta find out what the Witchcrafter deck is actually called, because it's pretty good. Um, I do recommend it. Um, Hold on, what is it actually called? It's called Witch's Sorcery. That's the deck that I've been buying from, uh, or buying for, and uh, yeah, it's it's gone okay. Um, 
But I'm also kind of at this point with Yu-Gi-Oh, like, or Duel Links at least, um, where I'm pretty, it's pretty fun doing like the casual duels, but if I want to get into ranked, like, I don't know, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, I can't really face many people because their decks are going to be so high because, you know, they pay actual money to get real good cards. Um, so, uh, that's kind of a, at a point where I'm at. I don't really want to spend money on this game, even though that I have. Um, I, I did, I did spend a little bit of money on this game. Not much, maybe like around, I think it was around like $15. Um, just to kind of see like if I would get better cards if I paid for them. Uh, turns out, uh, I wouldn't say it was a waste of money, but there are a lot better things in this world that I could have spent my money on. Um, but, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much further I'm going to be going with Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I do want to try out some other different card games, and I'll probably do videos on them as well. But, uh, yeah, because, I don't know, I don't... I just don't want to waste, or I don't want to say waste, but I don't want to invest a whole lot of money into this game when it, you know, touts itself as being a free game, but really you need to pay money if you want to get, uh, get really ahead, or you just need to grind out like hundreds of hours into this game, and I don't know if I'll be able to do that, to be quite honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be trying out a few new card games here. Um, but I, I definitely will still be into Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, especially if I try out those card games and see, find that Yu-Gi-Oh is the one that I like the best, then I'll definitely still be playing it. But, uh, yeah, I, I might make another video talking about some of the other card games that I'll play, but we'll see, we'll see. But for now, for this episode, um, I just want to do a couple casual duels, I think, uh, and test out my new my new witchcrafter deck. Um, I've done pretty decent with it so far. As you can see, I'm on bronze rank one, uh, so I'm up out of the rookie ranks uh, that I was in last episode. Uh, but I can't get out of bronze rank one because, <laughs> like I said, I don't have the good good enough cards for it yet. Or maybe I do. I just don't have the knowledge to craft a good deck yet. Um, but yeah, let's go into some casual duels. Um, I have a pretty good record recently. I've been been on a bit of a winning streak. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, but a lot of these wins are people that just, like, give up. So, uh, yeah, let's let's jump, in, jump into some casual duels. See what we can do. Um, and then maybe in the next episode I'll try out Yu-Gi-Oh! GX or one of the other uh, games. So, cool. Um, alright, so we're going up against a guy from Italy, Yugi Amen. He's gonna be Yami Yugi, and I will be Taya Garden. I'm also using the boost, uh, life points alpha, uh, or the skill life points alpha, as I was using with Joey, because it's a really good, really good thing to use right now. Alright, so I think we got a pretty good, pretty good hand right now. Alright. Let's see what he can do. Elemental Hero Neo Alias. Alright, that's a pretty good card. Uh, Alright, so we got our Pachingo, Pachingo cart. Alright, so... Uh-oh. He's... He may be timing out here. Who knows. Um, huh. So let's just wait for him to respond. Uh, hmm. So, this... Oh, <laughs> I won. That was that was easy. Um, yeah, he just timed out there. I had a good hand too, man. I, I thought I could have. I definitely could have won that with that hand. Uh, but I guess that is such is life, you know. You want to do an actual Yugi do or Yu-Gi-Oh duel, and then <laughs> the guy disconnects. Um, all right, so let's try that again. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I want to find a way to implement my extra deck into my current current deck that I have. Um, I don't know. There's really no way for me to do so at the moment. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can do something. 
Alright, so we're going up against Yami Yugi. I think he said he was bronze rank 7, so he's going to be quite a bit higher than me. What's his power do? Oh, it gives him a... Uh, gives him a Yami. Alright. So, again, we got a pretty decent deck here. Um, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't time out. He's not doing anything. Uh... Uh, you contribute this card, then discard one spell card. Alright, uh... Perfect. We got a, we got a good hand here. <laughs> and we, we still got our Pachingo cart. I love this. I love this card. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, okay, here he goes. We're going for it. He's got Valkyrian Knight. What kind of stuff does Valk... Monsters your opponent controls cannot target face-up warrior-type monsters. Witchcrafter Shmieta. Alright, so we got some good Witchcrafter cards, at least so far. Um, so, we're going to play Witchcrafter Petore. And you guys may be thinking, well, she is a low level. Uh, so, what the heck. Um, but, we're going to activate her effect. And basically, what we can do with her effect is we can tribute one card and tribute her. And then we can, boom, tribute, summon Witchcrafter Madame Vere. And she has a high defense, so uh, we'll throw her down. Boom, 3,000 defense. And hopefully, uh, yes, we can do our Witchcrafter Holiday. And the card we just tributed comes right back into our hand. How neat is that? Very neat, I would say. And uh, I'll show you what, what she can do if... Uh, if someone tries to attack her, but she's already got defense level 3,000. I don't know what is up with the boost. Um, oh, increase all fiends and spellcaster. So I guess that that counts for uh, opponents as well. Huh, very cool. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing really that he can do against us right now. So that's good. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. No, I don't I don't need to activate. All right, so what we want to draw here is another spell card. Yes, perfect. All right, so now what we can do is we'll change Madame Vary into attack position, and we will... We'll go for it. Um, so, show you what she can do here. Uh... Monster attacks. We've declared battle. Activate. Perfect. Ah, oh, shoot! Did I just ruin this? No, I didn't ruin it. I didn't ruin it. Alright, we'll just... It's not going to be as good as we wanted it to be. Um, no, we don't want to use her. Okay, so the, the, the effect that we want to use is always the uh, second one. But anyways, yeah, so basically all we do is we show show our opponent one of our magic cards, or spell cards, and uh, yeah, our attack or defense, if she's in defense mode, goes up by 1,000 points, which is really nice. No, don't need to do that. Alright, perfect. Very perfect. So now, uh, he'll think that he can... Uh, He'll think that he can attack our Witchcrafter, and and uh, he won't be able to because we'll be able to pull that effect up on him. Mad Archfiend? Uh, no. That, we don't want to activate the effect quite yet. Alright, let's battle. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, now is when we're going to want to activate the effect. Perfect. Perfect. Fiction. All right, so now we're gonna. Ah, oh, no! It still wasn't the right effect that we wanted. Oh well. It will still be able to. We'll still be able to do what we wanted. All right. Ah, oh, but he's gonna kill her with. Kill her with um. What do you call it? The Dark Knight Gaia. That's BS. 
but that did destroy his card, so... Uh... Damn. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, that's gonna... I don't know why we it makes us discard the card. Um... Hmm. But I know there is a way we can resurrect her. I just don't know what that means, or how that is. Uh, huh. Witchcrafter Madame Very. Uh, you can discard one spell card. Uh, which, I feel like there's something I can do here. And I'm running out of time, too. Great. Um, hmm. If we summon... one... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um... Huh. Maybe we can do... this? Question mark? So that will level us up to 230. Or 2000. And then... Hold on. This, this may be a shot in the dark, but... No... Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> that was really stupid of me. That was really stupid of me. I thought I would be able to activate uh, Witchcrafter... Uh, the other one's effect, but I guess I couldn't. Damn. Okay. I think we may have lost this one. But it's alright. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's gonna level up his monsters by 200 attack, and... Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna beat my ass right now. But that's cool. <laughs> Won't give up. Alright, we're not giving up. Don't worry about it. We're not going to give up. I just need to find a way to get my witchcrafter, uh, Pieta, or sh whatever her name is, back onto the field. And I know there's a way that you can, I just don't know how. Because <laughs> I've done it before, but I don't remember how I did it. Witchcrafter collaboration. Uh, okay, that's not what we need. Um, contribute this card, then discard one spell. Special summon one witcher. Uh, banish this card from your graveyard. Send witch from your deck to the graveyard. Except witchcraft can no only use this effect of witchcrafter Shmieta once per turn. All right. Uh, let me see the list. Um, is there enough? How did we do with the effects? I can't remember. Um, target one witchcrafter monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Ah, so we need Witchcrafter Holiday to be able to be able to get Madame Vere out of the graveyard, which I don't know if I have another one of those, but uh, I guess we'll just just try to survive at this point, basically. Um, select the effect to activate. Uh, effect her, I guess. Um, Chain another card? No, we don't want to chain. Select the card to send to the graveyard. Uh, Witchcrafter Holiday. And then... Can we activate? Target one Witchcraft... Alright, perfect. No, 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 that's not what we want to do. We want to do Witchcrafter Holiday. Uh... Shit, we're running out of time. No, no, don't chain, don't chain. Uh, collaboration, sure. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Whatever. And we don't get the Witchcrafter Holiday. That was... I have no idea what I just did. But, um, <laughs> that's fine. That's absolutely okay. We're gonna lose this one, I think. But, uh... Whatever. Because I think we just 
sacrificed her one opportunity to uh, get to Madame Vere out of the graveyard. I don't know how we did that. <laughs> we, we fucked up majorly, but it's alright. Um, alright. Is he gonna... Is he gonna end his turn? Can't tell. Is he just gonna play there? Or stay there? He's not doing anything. Um... Hmm. Waiting for a response. Hopefully he doesn't time out. I mean, it would be good for us, because we'll get the dub, but... Uh... Still. <laughs> we're not. We're not. People who like... We won! <laughs> I was I was just about to say we're not somebody who wants to take a win from somebody surrendering, but I mean, hey, a win is a win. <laughs> All right, so we're on a we're on a two-game winning streak for this episode. Let's do one more duel, and uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can make it three. <laughs> we'll see if we can make it three. We got our first L in the last episode. This episode is the redemption arc. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay. <laughs> Even though we haven't done anything to deserve a win, but you know what? Screw it. Alright, so we're going to go first. We're going up against Odeon. I don't know if I've faced Odeon yet before. Oh yeah, also, if you can tell, I have different... Uh, I have different skins on my card, and... I have different uh, skins on my deck, so yeah, that's fun. Uh, I can't do anything with that card yet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use the same strategy. Actually, all right, this is gonna be my strategy for this time. I'm just gonna summon Witchcrafter Shmieta in attack position because she has a high, high level attack. Um, so, so. We'll see if he can put out anything that's able to defeat Shmieta. Um, you know, there's a pretty high chance that he'll be able to, but... Uh, also, there's a high chance he may not be able to. So we'll see. <laughs> He's setting a lot of cards, so... Don't know what that means. Uh, Alright, he's gonna end his turn there. That kind of worries me, but also, uh, not. <laughs> um, alright, so we're gonna, actually, first up, we're going to, we're gonna attack with Shmieta, just to see, see if that activates any of his cards he has face down. Um, and it looks like it will, so... Let's see what that does. Training shield. I don't know what's happening. We lost 200, 200 life. And he gained 1800. Okay, that's not too bad. Do I not get to attack? No. Alright, that's fine. That is A-OK -okay for the moment being. Oh, and he ends his turn. Is that Pot of Greed? I thought that card was banned. Now, Jar of Greed. Draw one card. Ooh, he drew a card. And I've lost another 200 HP. Or LP. Hmm. That is true. I do not realize that I'm falling into his trap. Because, I mean, he's, he's gained HP, but, you know, really, he hasn't done much. Okay. He sets a card face down. Perfect. He, that means he has nothing that he's able to do. Uh, chain hole. That might come in handy. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our normal summon for her. And then we'll activate the effect. And then we'll sacrifice Witchcrafter Unveiling. Card's not very useful to us at this point. Um, so, yeah, and then we'll throw out Witchcrafter Madame Barry. And we'll see what we can do. 
<laughs> Let's try attacking this guy. Looks like he's gonna activate one of his or his last trap card or a monster effect. What? Ah, Sphere Karibo. What's gonna happen? Oh, he just sends us into defense position. That's alright. Nothing. Windcrafter unveiling in your graveyard? Sure. Alright, and that comes back to our hand. That's awesome. That is, will come in handy in the future. Alright. Alrighty. He sets card face down. Is he gonna do anything else? He's targeting both of my cards. What the hell? What the hell? Lava Golem? Wait, so is this Lava Golem mine? I don't get this. I don't get this at all. So... Ow. Okay, so it's gonna damage me quite a lot. Uh, huh. <laughs> okay. What, what effect can we... Can we activate from in here? Um... I don't think we can do much at the moment, but I guess we'll throw this guy down. Um, no applicable card for Speedroid. Alright, uh, so I guess... Uh, Alright, he's just gonna damage us, but um, let's see. Right. Ow, okay. But we can get rid of it with this card, uh, easily. Except he's gonna put another draining shield and he's gonna gain 3000 HP. Damn. And I'm gonna lose 200. Radical. Alright, so this isn't turning well in our favor. <laughs> Not quite at all. But, that's alright. Alright, so he's gonna draw, and I wonder who's gonna come out. We're gonna lose a lot of HP. Cause what do we lose, like a thousand? Um, I don't know what's happening here. What? Oh, he must have piercing damage or something. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Altergeist emulate. Yeah, that's that's gonna fuck us up real nice. All right, we're back. Uh, set, set our card, and uh, let's see, what can we do? There's really nothing we can do at this point. Uh, yeah, I can't do. No, I did not mean to summon that. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just do what we can at this point. Uh. I meant to play enemy controller, but... And what's he gonna do? He's probably... Yep. <laughs> probably gonna play a trap card. Whatever. And... Okay. Judgment is gonna rain upon us. Damn. <laughs> okay. That was... That was a bad duel. <laughs> bad duel for our, on our part. Um, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> so we got our first L. But hey, we won two, so we won more than we lost this episode. That's a that's a win in my book, guys. Um, all right. So I think I'm gonna end the episode right there. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, please remember to leave us a like, and I will catch you all in the next episode, or next video that I do. So, yeah. Peace out.